You've mentioned a couple times in this interview already about the quarterback needs to put a cape on and superhero and things, things of that nature. Um, so where do you place Brock Purdy in this conversation? Well, the there, there is the anomaly of somebody who is so incredibly efficient. And the efficiency mavens, uh, that's the wrong word, but the efficiency aficionados yes. uh, are, um, are still in the game. They're st- they still have a place but they need a lot of uh, help around them to be able to kind of go up against those guys. And so I, I think that uh, Brock, I would put Kirk Cousins, I would put there's some, there's the efficiency kind of uh, aficionados that are, are ma- and Brock is amazing what he's accomplished this year. And he's going to, uh, I don't know, I mean, next week's a big game, obviously against the, the Lions, but getting into the Super Bowl in this era with those guys, with how he plays the game is uh, I, I tip my cap to him. I mean, he, he, there's some of the stats, uh, you know, what he was able to do uh, from an efficiency perspective. There hasn't been, you might be able to make the case that there hasn't been a more efficient quarterback in the history of the game, you know, in how he played this year. Um, for example, uh, one of the stats that just was the most amazing thing I've ever heard in my life is that the 49ers lead the league in yards per attempt if you just took the passes from the line of scrimmage of behind. <laughs> Rich. Yeah. yeah. Th- those are 100% completion percentage, almost. Yeah. With zero risk or with very low risk, you're leading the league in yards per attempt against everybody else in the league. And that just goes to show the, the, the innovation. One we haven't talked about is the innovation that um, – that there are maybe, I'm going to say, under 10 of the innovative minds that are out there calling plays and coming up with new ways to attack these open spaces in the NFL that have showed up maybe five or six years ago with the rule changes. And though, and one of the most um, you know most amazing innovation my innovative minds is, is Kyle Shanahan. Well, I mean, in that, in that respect, though, Steve, I mean, the end of the first half uh, was a head scratcher uh, with with what they were doing with the play clock. It it honestly looked like they were trying to play for a long field goal that was going to get blocked. I mean, it was one of those horror movies where you could sort of see it coming with your hands over your face. And then Purdy, um, t- he did turn it on in that last drive. There's no question about well, it. He was, how, how, what happened? He became, he, he became Mr. Efficient. He was, the ball came out. They got made the completions. They made the plays. He, he did everything that you would want a Super Bowl quarterback to do in the key moments. And I, I you know, he's young. Uh, it's, uh, I, it's amazing. There's going to be a movie about him. There's going to have to be a movie about him uh, <laughs> at some at some point. And he, I've interviewed him and know him, and he's a he's just a fascinating human being. And uh, again, I think he's uh, one of the best in the league, and he does it in his own Brock Purdy way. And I've said for over a year, let Brock cook. Like let him give him a play, let him figure it out, and he'll he will figure it out. There is a, he's got a a special mind that can figure stuff out. So you don't uh, go out of it, come out of that game against the Packers concerned at all. I yeah, mean, you don't, have to, this, I mean, is, this has nothing so to do young, with Debo's say, has nothing well, to do with Debo's yourself, health. Sorry? There were so many passes that you're like, what? Like it was just, it was a confusing watch and it was an unnerving watch because of the first time you thought, well, wait, hold on. I thought, yeah, I thought he was Superman in his own way. And all of a sudden, there's just weird stuff happening. Balls coming out that wasn't even they weren't even close. And uh, and then you got thinking about you know he's wiping his hand as he's dropping back. Like, is there a rain thing? Is there a, you know because we're getting you know him. We don't know him. And is there somehow uh, wet ball? You know, some guys just <laughs> look. There's guys I play with just didn't like the wet ball. You know, and who lo- who loves it? Nobody. But uh, you know, then you got thinking, well, is that is that, is that the kryptonite? Uh, uh, and then, you know, they're, and then also just, they've been off for three weeks. I mean, Brock had not played in 21 days. That's a, that's an eternity. That's a hard restart, uh, for a quarterback, I believe to be gone uh, off of that competitive edge that you have to have week to week. Um, so anyway, there's a lot of things to try to explain it, but it was unnerving and it really, the four days were beat. I think they sensed it. Uh, there's a huge size, huge, um, I don't know how you can make huge bigger than huge, but like a massive, huge, enormous nuclear sigh sigh of relief (laughs) that happened when they got that last drive done. Because if that would have ended right there with that talent and all the people they put together, 
uh, uh, somewhat criminal. Yeah, you want to talk about an unkind cut, you know, uh, from this weekend. Yeah, obviously, the Bills, that's one of them. And that Jordan Love's remarkable breakout season ends with – a rookie type throw. He called it a mortal sin to throw yeah. the ball that he threw that ended the game. Steve. In many ways, the 49ers were beat. And with somebody who had more of a history, more sophistication, they would have closed that up. You know, I mean, they were beat and they were just going to, someone needed to come close it up. And, and I think fortunately for the 49ers, they ran into a young quarterback that could make those kind of mistakes still. Um, because you get in those big moments when you've got something kind of done then you you got to you got to handle it in a certain way and so yeah he's he you watched him in that game when he's he's one of those guys that's going to join it looks like we'll join that group of Josh and and uh, hmm. Patrick and now Lamar and Joe and i think you know uh, uh, he's going to he when i watch him drop back and he's just big and he's strong and he's tall and he's he's athletic and he just he gets the ball in the in the in the shotgun and kind of just looks over everything and kind of just starts to throw it all over the field. Uh, you, I mean, even early in that game, even though he was young, even though it was his breakout time, I, I felt like, well, he's going to be one of those guys. He's yeah. going to, there's only a handful year, every year you're going to be in the Super Bowl or in the, in the thick of it because you have one of those guys. And it looked like he was, feels like to me, he's going to be one of those guys. And he had a tough learning experience, but no question. I, it was a, it was a, it was a revelation to see the Jordan Love show and what it's going to maybe going to look like into the future. Yeah, that throw he th that throw he threw from the opposite hash for the touchdown to go up, and it looked like with so much trash, he looks like he threw it through like four tires to his tight end. I I can't couldn't believe he and he kind of threw that off platform too. I mean, right. whoa, that was that's what. Hey, wow, Rich, that's what they do. I know, right? That's what they do now. I hear you, <laughs> but Steve. That, and again, again, I tell you, people say, oh, that's awesome. But you still have to have all these guys around you. And I just, I think the the game is kind of commoditized, incredible talent. But like, take any of those four or five guys I talked about, six guys and just put them around the league. And now that team is going to the Super Bowl. Teams that have no chance, there's 25 teams in the league that fundamentally day one do not have a chance at Super Bowl. <laughs> do not. And people are going to go crazy. Oh, Steve, you're crazy. I'm telling you, I'm okay. Let's say 20 that have no chance day one to get to a Super Bowl because they do not have that guy that used to be in the old days before the world changes, the game opened up so much, become more college like you could do it in a lot of different ways to get the Super Bowl. No longer. It is all about that guy. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.